To construct a square that has the same area as a rectangle, we use mean proportion. We first extend the line AD like so. Then using our compass, we scribe an arc from D up onto our extended line. These two lines are now the same length. We then bisect the line putting our compass here and setting a lint greater than halfway. We scribe one arc here and one arc here. Then putting our compass on A, we scribe an arc here and an arc here. Where these two points intersect, we join these two. And where they cross gives us the midpoint of our line. We shall call this point here, point C. We then scribe an arc from C over to A, like so. We then extend the line from D perpendicular to AD upwards until it hits the circle. We call this point here, point B. Then we put our compass on D, set it to B, and scribe an arc on our extended line. This then gives us two sides of the square. To get the third side, we extend this line up perpendicular, like so, and we bring this line across perpendicular to BD to give us the final side of the square. Like so. This square is now the same area as this rectangle. We prove this using similar triangles by joining A to B and then B to C. These two angles here are about 90 degrees and so is this angle up here. These two triangles are similar. We can prove this by inserting any angle we like. Say we take this angle to be 30 degrees, then this angle up here has to be 60 degrees because this angle down here is 90 and 30 plus 60 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. This angle here is 30 degrees because this angle in total is 90 degrees. Then this angle here is 60 degrees. So then angle ADC is equal to angle CDB because they're both 90 degrees. Angle ABD is equal to angle BCD. They're both 60 degrees. And angle BAD and angle DBC are equal because they are both 30 degrees. This proves that the two triangles are similar. To find the altitude of BD, which is the mean proportion, we use ratios. The length of AD is in proportion to the length of BD. The length of BD is in proportion to the length of CD. We then put these in fractions, so AD over BD is equal to BD over CD. We then cross multiply. BD squared is equal to AD multiplied by CD. BD is equal to the square root of AD multiplied by CD.